India submitted its long-term low emission development strategy to the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. During the 27th Conference of Parties, COP27, on 14 November 2022, the long-term low emission development strategy was launched by the Union Minister for Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Sri Bhupender Yadav, who is leading the Indian delegation to COP27, being held at Sham El Sheikh, Egypt, from 6 to 18th November 2022. With this release, India joins the select list of less than 60 parties that have submitted their LTLEDs, Long-Term Low Emission Development Strategies, to UNFCCC. The salient features of the strategy are, first, the focus will be on the rational utilization of natural resources with due regard to energy security. The transitions from fossil fuel will be undertaken in just, smooth, sustainable and all-inclusive manner. The National Hydrogen Mission, launched in 2021, aims to make India a green hydrogen hub. Second, increase use of biofuels, especially ethanol blending in petrol, the drive to increase electric vehicle penetration and the increased use of green hydrogen fuel are expected to drive the low carbon development of the transport sector. India aspires to maximize the use of electric vehicles, ethanol blending to reach 20% by 2025. Third, future sustainable and climate resilient urban development will be driven by smart city initiatives, integrated planning of cities for mainstreaming adaptation and enhancing energy and resource efficiency, effective green building codes and rapid developments in innovative solid and liquid waste management. Fourth, India's industrial sector will continue on a strong growth path in the perspective Atma Nirbhar Bharat and Make in India. Low carbon development transitions in the sector should not impact energy security, energy access and employment. The focus will be on improving energy efficiency by the Perform, Achieve and Trade FAT scheme. National Hydrogen Mission, high level of electrification in all relevant processes and activities, enhancing material efficiency and recycling leading to expansion of circular economy and exploring options for hard to abate sectors such as steel, cement, aluminium and others. Fifth, Forest and Tree Cover India's forest fire incidence is well below global level while its forest and tree cover are at net sink absorbing 15% of CO2 emissions in 2016. Sixth, the transition to low carbon development pathway will entail several costs pertaining to the development of new technologies, new infrastructure and other transaction costs. Estimates are in the range of trillions of dollars by 2050. India's approach is based on the following four key considerations that underpin its long-term low-carbon development strategy. First, India has contributed little to global warming, its historical contribution to cumulative global greenhouse gas emissions being minuscule despite having a share of 17% of the world's population. Second, India has significant energy needs for development. Third. India is committed to pursuing low-carbon strategies for development and is actively pursuing them as per national circumstances. Fourth, India needs to build climate resilience. The two themes of climate justice and sustainable lifestyles, alongside the principles of equity and common but differentiated responsibilities and respective capabilities in the light of national circumstances that India had emphasized at Paris are at the heart of low-carbon, low-emissions future. Similarly, the LTLEDs have been prepared in the framework of India's right to an equitable and fair share of the global carbon budget, which is the practical implementation of India's call for climate justice. This is essential to ensure that there are no constraints on realizing India's vision of rapid growth and economic transformation while protecting the environment. The LTLEDs is also informed by the vision of life, lifestyle for the environment. That calls for a worldwide paradigm shift from mindless and destructive consumption to mindful and deliberate utilization. You can find the copy of this strategy submitted to UNFCCC in the description below.